we're here to demonstrate what goes on the day before our puppy um, goes and uh, will be flying to your destination via cargo. Um, so obviously the pet is going to be groomed the night before. So we're going to make sure that she or he has a bath and gets professionally groomed. Um, smells really, really good. <laughs> We actually do sell our fragrance as well, so if anyone is interested, um, we get a lot of pet owners that receive their pet and just think they smell so amazing. And uh, we do sell a fragrance, which is about three, I want to say three uh, ounces, um, and uh, it's got that vanilla scent to it, and it's just amazing. So if you're interested, you can always email us. But Getting back to um, the shipping cargo, uh, what we do is, so first of all, we groom your puppy, and then we make sure that they are well protected against um, the drafts in the plane. So we put in a little sweater or a little tight bodysuit. We make sure it's tight enough so that they don't get caught, the, their legs don't get caught in the the sweater, and um, and then they can have kind of like a long flight and being very uncomfortable so and then second of all we get a plastic crate which looks just like this it's got holes on one side holes on the other it's got little latches on each side um, with the handle so when you do receive your pet the first thing you're going to do is actually uh, with the help of the handle click on both sides and open it and then to close it you um, just squeeze them together and close it together. So it's very easy to open. Um, the thing that they're going to do at the airport is put zip ties to keep them closed. Um, and when you do receive your pet, we do recommend that you bring scissors with you to just click the zip ties and um, for you to have access to your pet easier. Um, this you get to keep. It is included. Uh, once you pay for the shipping, which runs you about $350, um, you do get to keep this crate. Um, now, sometimes shipping is included, and if it is included, then obviously we take care of all the costs that are involved, that is involved. So um, your pet will be traveling. Let's open it so you can see inside. Um, so as you can see, it's aired out. There's air coming in and out. Uh, obviously for the pet to breed we do add a huge carpet at the bottom so it is a uh, shock resistant if any anything should happen a little bit of turbulence um, the crates are s secured in the plane but um, you see the cushioning here it protects them against impact and we also add a little blanket and a teddy bear for them to cuddle against we also have little treats that we'll put in here and they'll nibble on that throughout the flight um, they feel very comfortable it's secure um, and, you know, we get them used to it a couple of days prior to departure. So they kind of know already how it feels to be in there. They don't feel threatened in any way. Um, so what we'll do is just go ahead and put Bella. Um, hey, Bella. So she is flying tomorrow, so we are just going to show you how, um, how she'll look inside. So she'll get comfortable. As you can see, they already feel secure. It's kind of like a little cave. Um, they need to be able to stand without touching the ceiling with their heads. So she's very comfortable in there. And she'll even fall asleep. <laughs> she's like the perfect model. Um, then we'll close the door. And um, this is how we'll, she'll be uh, for a little bit. I mean, flights usually last between two hours can go all the way up to eight hours with a connection in between but most often when they do have connections um, they do have vet facilities in case of emergency and they will contact you if there's any emergency but um, a good 99.9% .9 of the time dogs do very well as well as cats but we specialize in dogs so we haven't had any incidents regarding travel I mean everything has always been safe um, so there you have it, uh, and now when you do, uh, when we do ship, we'll make sure that in a Ziploc bag, just as so, we will be adding a sample of food. As you can see, this is going to be Bella's food. She's on a, a blue buffalo, and we are putting some treats in there, some chews, and some bones. Um, 
and another chewable bone. So she'll have that. So that will last you a couple of days. So when you do get her and you haven't had a chance to buy some food, she will come with um, her sample of food. Um, she'll also come with her vet records. So this is her pet passport. And then, as you can see, she will have just about all of her shots that were done at the vet. And uh, we do add all of the vet records, um, such as proof of vaccination, um, rabies shots, everything that you need to know is actually added here, and um, a way for you to communicate with our vet if your vet wants to communicate with ours, all the information is in there as well. And last but not least, a health certificate, as you can see, it is from the state veterinary state of Arizona. Um, this is needed in order to travel. It is only good for 10 days. Um, without this, the pet would not be able to get on the plane. It's almost like her ticket. Um, and it's signed by a vet, which states that he has looked at her, examined her physically, and said that she is healthy to fly. So that's very important. It is actually a proof that the pet is healthy and has been looked at by a vet before her departure. Now, this is only good for 10 days, and we calculate the day that it was issued. So after the 10 days, it does expire, and we have to go back to our vet and get another, um, what do you call it, health certificate. So um, there you have it. I will. We put all this in the bag. Uh, we do add sometimes little treats or little cute things, little frames, or sometimes we'll have a little, uh, in this case, we add a little collar. We always have little surprises, so when you do open your bag, you'll find some little you know, little surprises. We also add a little thank you note, which is really sweet. Just says thank you for adopting our baby. Um, and then sometimes we'll add a wee pad, which helps because when you do get your puppy, um, you know, the puppy is probably held, um, held her, her um, to, from going to go potty. So um, we do add this to your kit. Um, and then you can always put it either on the ground or in your car. Some some people just like to just have it handy. Um, and if it's not in here, it's going to be in the crate. So we leave it at the bottom or on top depending on what we have there. Um, in this case, it's carpet, so we'll leave it at the bottom completely. So if ever she soils the carpet, then at the bottom uh, we'll have this to protect the crate. So there you have it. So everything goes into this bag. And... The bag is folded and taped on top of the crate with a, a large tape. So when you do get your pet, uh, it will look just like this. And don't forget, it is going to be zip tied right about here. So when you do get her or him, first thing you do is you want to take this bag out. Make sure you cut the tape that's going to be uh, taped around. Um, you get the bag out. You open it, make sure that you have all your information, your vet records, your sample of food. Um, once you do have that, make sure that they cut the zip tie when you do pick up your puppy. If not, you're going to have a hard time opening it. It's, it's just to prevent anybody from opening the crate um, until you do go and get your pet. And once you do, you just make sure you push the little handle. Let me show it to you here. If there's one on top, just a little pin here as you can see and a little pin there at the bottom. Just make sure you push the pins together and you just open it easily and then you can call your puppy out. Um, sometimes they're a little bit scared or a little bit frightened. You can talk to them, let them know, hey, you know, I'm your new mommy and welcome home. And um, I do recommend that you leave them in the crate until you do get home. They always feel safe in there. It's like a little cave. If you want to get them out, put them on your lap, you're more than welcome. Uh, but again, you are in a car driving home. It's not safe to have a puppy on your lap in case of an accident. Um, it's always good if you have a little seat belt or a little car seat for the puppy. Uh, if not, um, and when you do get home, you just get the puppy out. Uh, you're more than welcome to remove the sweater. Um, just assess the situation, make sure she's not caught in her sweater and and like as I mentioned before the sweaters that we use are oftentimes very tight um, they don't hurt them they just keep them very snuggled so that they don't catch a cold through the flight and then you can either cut it or you can just take it off and keep it um, so there you have it thank you Bella for the demonstration that was very sweet um, so 
Uh, there you have it. She has done a wonderful job showing us <laughs> how puppy travel. And if you have any question, you're more than welcome to call us at 866-706-8287. If not, you can email us at info at micro teacuppuppy.com. All right, you guys have a great day. And uh, Bella, we're going to get her ready for her flight, um, which is in a few hours. And um, we'll uh, join her Facebook page. Make sure you you join and you see, because we film all of our puppies that are leaving, and we actually take a lot of pictures so you can actually follow their, you know, their journey from point A to point B. So very interesting. All right, everyone. Um, have a great day. Take care. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.